Hi guys, welcome to this um, setup. Let's move it to the first screen here. And this is the ISO that we've built for June already. So preparing ourselves with, uh, well, changes, always changes, right? So the topic of the video is, there is a user that has the wish to reformat everything but it has not one two but three hard disks and he's wondering can i have a data hard disk of course you can now in my system and maybe we should have a visual and as again it's a good advice this is what i have physically in my computers and i will have them physically on my next computers Basically, it's a bay and it, you pop it in your desktop or maybe it exists also for a laptop. And here's a button and the SSD comes, SSD comes out. So for example, Windows Gaming comes out, you put it on the shelf, Windows Work goes in, all right? Put on the button, up, shelf out, on the shelf I mean. SSD for NixOS goes in and you experiment. And on the same hardware, you can have dozens of distributions, any kind of distribution. And that's save you a lot of money, right? So that's what I'd like you, well, to think about. Now, knowing that, it's super easy to explain you in a video. What if a user says, I'd like to have an SSD A, right? and an SDB, and an SDC, and an SDD. So normally eh, everything is the other way around, but the thing where I'm putting from is actually one terabyte. So the data hard disks, whether they are hard disk SSDs or NVMEs, are normally one, two, three, four terabytes, right? Containing videos, music, and Steam games, for example. So the idea is to teach you that's something you have to do yourself. Physically attach your hard disk any way you can. And then the software says, oh, look at that. There is an SDB. Okay. And let's go and add it to the system so we can use it. That's the bottom line. First of all, unplug it. Just one SSD. So you're sure you're not going to overwrite any data hard disks. Install whatever you want, Windows, Linux, or Mac, right? And then attach your data, if it is already containing data, I would detach it. Too many people have asked us, hey, I've accidentally overwritten my hard disk. Yeah, it's gone. So the tools that we have, the different things we can do. There's Gpart as a nice tool. This is for any desktop. And KDE, of course, has their own. The KDE Partition Manager. But basically, it provides you the same information with a little bit uh, coloring, etc. Different. Most important thing is, well, select what you want to format or delete or whatever, right? So SDA is gonna be untouched. Again, right? SDA, I'm booting from SDA. This is SDA, keep off, basically, okay? You can see that here as well, boot EFI slash. And the other one says nothing, right? I did play around already, so I'm gonna delete this one. So delete anything that's on there. And then you say apply. All operation successfully applied. So I'm using now Gparted, so that's cool. And then again, new, choose what you want to have, partition name maybe, you can call it data or the label also data, and X4, or anything else. Add, apply, 
apply. Close. So now we have a SDB1 that's an X4 with a label and a name and what now? So if you go to Dolphin or Thunor, it doesn't really matter, to a file manager, you see there's a name data here. Data wants to know my password. That's tedious, right? You can do it once and then you realize uh, I can't write anything here. Create new is not possible. Can't do create anything on this thing. So it's not mine. It's from root. Ah. Okay. So we need to change something. I'm going to unmount it first. Well, I could unmount it in my tool. Which tool do I recommend? I know that I'm on Plasma, <laughs> but there is something called GNOME Disk Utility. GNOME Disk Utility. GNOME and then tap tap and you'll find it. You can forget it. It's in here. You'll find it when you need it. GNOME Disk Utility. Okay, so that's the one. That's what we're running now. Fine. And then you select it. Not this one, right? This is the boot up. This is the plasma. This is what we're looking at. This is the other guy. As the B1, it's called data here. You see the name data, data. All right. I, I now need to not format it because I could format it as well. Format partition, edit partition, edit file size, repair file system. Take ownership. Ah. Enable recursive mode means uh, down the line, all the folders, everything that's in there. If there are more than, well, in depth, more folders. And yes, go enable that in depth. So that's one thing. Second thing, edit mount options, user session defaults. Mm, nope. Let's use something else. This is a nice mount point, but I will forget. Let's take label data, identify as any of these. So we'll forget this. This is maybe okay, right? But label data, why not? File system auto, it's actually X4, but sure. Mount data, and then we say, that's it. Mount the system startup, showing user interface, no extra logins otherwise, right? No, automatically it has to be there once I reboot. Then I say yes. And if you mount, well, I can, I'll do it here in Dolphin. Is Dolphin hidden behind it? No. So if you go to Dolphin and you click on data, there is one last time, I think, it's going to ask it, but here is create folder and I can do stuff here. This is mine, right? This is root MNT data. LS. This is from Eric. Anything I do, it's just mine. So that's a good thing. And I do believe we'll see later on after finishing the video that we have it auto mounted and it shouldn't ask any password. Require additional authorization to mount? No, no. So that's what I would suggest the user to do. These are the steps to undertake. And if you reboot, log out, reboot, probably reboot, right? And then have a look. Is this auto mounted? Is it found? Now the nerd in us is probably gonna shout out and say, have a look, have a look, right? NFS tab. In here we have label equals data, mount data, auto, etc, etc, etc. The information we've changed with GNOME disks ends here, etcfs tab. So we have to reboot and then we'll see if everything is working fine. All right. 
I hope it was helpful and um, this you can do. This is not about dual booting. Uh, this is about having extra hard disks, data hard disks, and then maybe in Steam say, look, go to data and put all your terabytes of, uh, well, well, some of them are, right? Really big. So put them all there. All right, have fun.